Okay, our next step is to create ID roughing operation for this area. So I create new lathe ID roughing. So I have see that Spritcam has selected the desired tool by default, which is fine. But the, I need to adjust uh, job assignment a little bit. So on the in order to do this, I have switched to the job assignment tab here. Okay, I will take this circle, move it, for example, let's say we want to make machining until here. And I will also take this flag and move it to here. So flag is the end of the toolpath, the circle is the beginning. I need to change the direction because I want to move my tool not from right uh, left to right but to from right to left here so it's quite easy to do in sprut cam i just press this uh, arrow and you can see that the direction is changed and i will also change uh, lead in and lead out rules using interactive elements on the screen which is very easy and very user friendly for example like this let's calculate the toolpath but i bet we will have some problem here Yes, we have it and we can see that the machining result is not very good. Why is that here we have retract, you can see this line, we have retract, which is not correct. So I will go, let's, okay, let's first check what we have by default. So reset the workpiece, calculate up to current operation and press run. So let's, yeah, we have some trouble here. We can see that the uh, retract is, is going through the machining result, which is obviously not something we need, but we will fix it quite easy. So in order to do this, we will go here and uh, go to links tab and change this return rule. So what do I need to do uh, is that first I need to go uh, from from this uh, from this area when the toolpath is finished i need to go uh, somewhere here over, uh, along the z axis you can see the z axis so the safe position for the z axis is above zero so i will change this return rule to let's say z1 which means that i will go first uh, along z axis to position which will be one millimeter then I will go along X okay so if we check the uh, seal data we can see that uh, here we have return okay it's Z1 and then go home let's recalculate the toolpath now we can see that it's fine so let's check one more time here. Okay, that's nice. So let's simulate and check the result. So I res reset this and press simulate up to current operation and press run on ID roughing. So we can see that the machining direction is fine. So no collision detected, no collisions detected. So approach and return are here which is uh, safe and nice for us so that's it so next operation is uh, part cutoff so i will create a lathe uh, part off operation so you can see that the tool is automatically selected already so if i go to job assignment i have it here already if i just press run my part is my part will be cut off but i have little chamfer here so and in order not to make a separate operation for this chamfer chamfer uh, you in sprut cam you can define it uh, here so here is smooth sharp edge i press chamfer so i have already measured it before so I will use 0 0.7 millimeter and 45 degree. Sorry, not 45, but 15 degree. Okay, that's it. So this is for the chamfer. So let's go and uh, 
see our simulation result. Uh, we need to do it one more time, a little slower. Okay, so very nice. We have finished our first uh, setup stage. The one little thing I will also uh, change is that we need to get rid of this uh, rest material, the rest workpiece of the workpiece. So for the lathe part of operation in the parameters, I will turn on this delete chips uh, option. And if we make it recalculate on the machining result, you can see that with that we don't have uh, this part of the workpiece. Of course, it will be turn, uh, taken out manually, but for sprut cam, so it, it is quite easy to get rid of the uh, cut off part of the workpiece using this delete chips option. That's it.